guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Maya. It is time for the long-awaited bookshelf tour. So you guys have been begging for this video for a long time now, and I'm finally doing it. So the reason I didn't do it earlier was because this bookshelf, if you're subscribed to me, you know that this is my newer bookshelf. I have a different bookshelf over there, and I posted a bookshelf tour on that some while ago. But then I also got this new bookshelf, and it's now all filled up with books, so I can finally do a bookshelf tour. <laughs> And I'm finally happy about how it looks. It just looks so good. And I'm very excited to show you guys. And I'm pretty sure you guys will fall in love with it too. By the way, most of the books on this bookshelf are young adult books. And then that is like more my middle grade bookshelf. Let's get started. So we're going to start with the top shelf and make our way to the bottom. So first, on the very, very top of my shelf, height comparison, it's taller than me, but I'm short, so. So here we have an Owl Grey box. This is like the only bookish box that I ever got. Then this, uh, I love Ellie Shadow Lady so much. Then my plants, which I grew since it was a baby. I grew it myself, hee <laughs> hee. Um, don't ask why some of the leaves are burnt. I didn't know that I shouldn't leave it out in direct sunlight. <laughs> now that happened. Anyways, and I really I like this pot i got it from target i had another one but it was kind of different but i forgot where it went next the top shelf of books so this is like my contemporary shelf and like light-hearted books romance books you know there are a few mystery books over here but because i don't own a lot of like contemporary books like the rest of my bookshelf is basically fancy so we're gonna go left to right and first over here we have a funko pop max from stranger things my favorite character moving that aside First book is Along for the Ride. And this was like so overrated. I don't even want to think about this book. I just don't really like it. Next, A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. I feel like this is kind of overrated. I didn't enjoy it as much as everybody else did. Next is We Were Liars. And then, Suicide Notes from Beautiful Girls. I didn't read this yet, but I know that this is a mystery. Love and Gelato. This was very cute. Again, but better. I really, really enjoyed this. Then, A Cuban Girl's Guide to Murder. Mm. It was it was good, but not the best. And then Summer of Broken Rules. I'm currently reading this actually. There's my bookmark. Next is Anna and the French Kiss. This was very cute. I loved this. And then Lola Lola and the Boy Next Door. Um, not as good as Anna and the French Kiss, but it was still good, I guess. And then Since You've Been Gone. This is a cute summer read. Better than the movies. I haven't read this yet, but I'm very excited to. Everybody loves this book. Then Today, Tonight, Tomorrow. Um, overrated in my opinion. Instructions for Dancing. This was very cute. I Kissed Shira Wheeler. Also loved this. Or maybe liked this. I don't know. It was really fun. And Harry Potter's Patronus Funko Pop. Next, we have the Summer I Turned Pretty box set. This series is like so overrated in my opinion. Next, moving on to the second shelf, where the fantasy begins. Okay, so this time I'm gonna be talking like this, because I wasn't able to do that for that because I'm not high enough, and neither is my tripod. So first we have this paper crane that I made myself. Very cute and also bookish in my opinion. Here we have the Throne of Glass series. This series is so good. It is slow paced, but once you read all of it, it's like so worth it. I'm so emotionally attached to the series and to all the characters. I loved it. Let's move this aside. Over here we have a stack of books. The top one is The Song of Achilles, overrated in my opinion, I didn't really like it. Then we have Shadow and Bone, didn't read it yet, only have the first book. And we have All the Stars and Teeth, um, it was fine, it was okay. Shadow Me, everybody, I know everybody's gonna come at me in the comments tell me to read it right now, but I didn't read it yet, um. <sighs> Wilder Girls or Wilder Girls did not like. Splintered, which is like an Alice in Wonderland retelling, and I love retellings. And a different Alice in Wonderland retelling is actually my favorite book ever. Heartless, which everybody knows I love. Okay, well, Splintered, it's not that popular, but I got it because it was an Alice in Wonderland retelling, and I haven't read it yet, though, so. Over here, we have Cinderella is Dead. In my opinion, kind of overrated, but my sister loved it. It was good, though. I love Constance. And then, over over here, Ace of Spades, which I have heard so much good things about, but I haven't read it yet. I think I'm gonna read it this fall, this autumn though, because it's like Dark Academia vibes, so that'll be good for autumn. And that is it with this shelf. 
the next shelf. First over here, we have Delacour from Harry Potter. I really like her. And then we have this, which is like a book page opener, but I didn't use this because it doesn't work that well for me. Like when I need to flip the page, it just... There's like a quote on it. It came from Owlcrate. I, don't know, I forgot what book it's from. Though. It says, there is music in your soul. Anyways, first book on the shelf is Caraval. So you may recognize this is very, very popular. But I haven't read it yet. <laughs> so much popular books that I have, but I haven't read it yet. Okay, next, Defy the Night. A lot of people like this, but I did not really. It was just not it. Like the writing style, I just didn't connect with it. I mean, I can see why people would like it, but personally, I didn't. So now I'm kind of scared to read Bridget Kemmerer's other book because I'm afraid I won't like them either because of the writing style. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Next, we have these Hollow Vows, but I liked this. It was good. I did. I don't rave about it. Next is A Deadly Education. This was an okay book. It was slow paced. The main character annoyed me sometimes, but um, it was okay. Next, we have Star Daughter. I haven't read this, but it looks... Look at that freaking cover. This is why it caught my eye and I decided to add it to my wish list. Look at it. That is so freaking beautiful from what i've heard on goodreads not a lot of people like this so now i'm kind of scared to read it maybe i shouldn't i don't know next we have kingdom of the wicked so like the main thing i liked about this was the vibe that was it the vibes and then everything else was just mm, i don't know not that great and i feel like it's very very overrated next we have two not one by two copies of lake's edge so when i read it i initially really loved it but now that i think back on it i don't like love it that much anymore this is the first book i read that i listened to with music at the same time so i feel like the music really made me love it more because it was more like enchanting that way or something but if i listened to it without music i think my rating of it would be lower but i have two copies because this one came from owl crate and when I opened it then I was kind of disappointed because I was hoping to get a book that I didn't have yet but now I can display it <laughs> next we have one of the best series in the world the cruel prince series he has book one book two book three and how the king of Elfheim learned to hate stories this is an amazing series if you haven't read it go read it I don't think it's over it I think it deserves all the hype the first book a lot of people don't like it's probably the I don't know, worst book maybe I don't know I don't think so I liked all of the books but this is not the best book out of the series in my opinion the best book is is the second book but if you want to read the cruel prince because of romance then don't that is not the main thing at all and here we just have a pumpkin then we have the red queen series i have three of the books i don't know why i got the last book because the second book was like so bad i did not really like the first book either i mean the concept it was so amazing like so creative but just the way it was written out the way it was executed was just not really for me i guess the writing style wasn't really for me the writing style was kind of boring for me and anyway, my second book was even worse it was like so hard to get through i was forcing myself to sit down and read and then after that there's like a cliffhanger so i got the third book but i don't know why because now i don't even want to read it i don't really care about the cliffhanger anymore next shelf this is the second to last shelf the last shelf is down there and all i'm sitting on the ground anyways so first over here we have the lunar chronicle series which is an amazing series you should definitely read it and marissa mayer is like the best author ever as I said, Lunar Chronicles series. And then over here, we have Heartless, which is my favorite book. And then here we have one, another Marissa Mayer book. So all of these are Marissa Mayer books. Um, Gilded, which also I love. I feel like it's the worst Marissa Mayer I've read from all of these, but it was still good. Anyways, on top here, we have some more books. Oh, and this, this, this. I can't forget to show this. This is based on the Lunar Chronicles. Like, it's a bookmark, and it has, like, things that represent, like, things that are in the Lunar Chronicles. Like, it's so cute this is a bookmark shout out to my aunt for getting this for my birthday i love it oh also my aunt gave me the whole lunar chronicle series like oh my gosh okay so the books over here are you've reached sam i pre-ordered this when it was releasing but i haven't read it i'm kind of scared too because it's like a sad book um anyways next over here we have the nature of witches really overrated like oh, what the heck and a rush of wings this isn't that popular i haven't seen this like anywhere but i pre-ordered this and this was actually fun i enjoyed this i liked it next over here oh um, first i'm gonna do this actually first we have the bone witch this i dnf and then house of hollow which i haven't read and over here we have a lesson in vengeance did not like it's advertised as docademia and i guess some people could consider it docademia but i just consider it uncomfortable i did not like this book then we have the witch haven which i loved this is like dark and this is kind of like dark academia and this is like historical fiction and fantasy about witches and witch boarding school amazing two amazing things combined together witches in boarding school in historical fiction i love historical fiction so this book was good here we have a candle this is like one of my favorite candle scents ever heritage pumpkin 
Like, I could never get tired of that smell. And here we have a bookmark. Anyways, over here, we have an amazing series, the Rosewood Chronicles series. My sister actually read it also. I let her read my book, and she loved it also. It's such a good series. Undercover Princess is book one, and then there are the other books. Totally recommend it. Oh, and this is like middle grade. And the very last shelf, the bottom shelf, and it contains the most books maybe, because it's like a giant, the size of two shelves, but so I just stack the books on top of each other. For this, I'm not gonna show my face while I talk, because I don't want to like be laying on the ground and talking. So we're gonna talk like this. So I really like how this shelf turned out. I really like how there's like books over here, books over here, and then we have my Kindle over here. So starting out, here we have the Mortal Instruments series, which is by Cassandra Clare. And my one of my life goals is to read every single Shadowhunter book. I haven't read this series at all. I haven't read a single book from here yet because I'm scared to get into the series and then go on a rampage of reading all her books. But I'm really excited to, and I really should. I should stop buying books and just read the series because it sounds so cool and so fun and i really want to like commit to a big series so there's that and uh, then over here we have the lost choice i read only like a few pages of this it's my mom's book actually i don't know i didn't don't know what this is about then we have family tree the long way home it's actually book two of something but you don't have to read them in order i read this when i was very little it's like a middle grade book and it's a bit boring then we have snow and rose also a middle grade book except this was very fun i reread this countless of times it was so good anyways dash and lily's book of dears super cute romance um also there's book two of dash and lily and book three i like book three the most i think and then we have another christmas book which is the holiday switch i don't really know why I got this i mean it was good i guess it was okay over here we have percy jackson box set i read three books as you can see the spines in them are cracked because they're like so stiff it's impossible to read them without cracking the spines so i still have the fourth and fifth book too over here we have one of us is lying box set i only read the first book i didn't read the second book yet anyways here we have twilight series which i love twilight is such a good book i'm thinking of rereading the first book this autumn because i just i read the last book last autumn and i really liked it the vibes the everything this is such a five star read i loved it then over here we have the vampire diaries also a vampire book right next to a different vampire series i haven't read this yet then we have dance of thieves i haven't read this yet either i want to read it after i read this book kiss of deception because i heard you should read that first and then we have the night circus which i also haven't read yet because i hear that it has no plot and that's lots of people find it boring and then some people absolutely love it so i'm not sure whether to read it or not yet and then next the second stack over here first we have some Subversion by Ruki pa Ruhi Parkich? Parkich? Oh my god, please don't call me me. I don't know how to pronounce names. Anyways, so she's a teen author, and I've been following her on TikTok for a while, and uh, when I won her giveaway for her book, I was, like, really excited. I didn't read it yet, but I'm excited to. Then we have Daughter of the Pirate's King. So overrated. It was enjoyable, I guess, but the romance so bad anyways um touch thank you cheryl for sending me this i'm excited to read it i haven't yet but i'm very excited to then we have the darkest minds which is so good i didn't expect it to love it as much as i did so those were all of them here we have my old super old kindle fire fifth generation but those were all of my books on this shelf at least and i have more books in my closet some old ones and i have the other shelf if you haven't watched the tour of my middle grade shelf then what are you doing you should go watch it right now and some of my books are also in my sister's room yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed my bookshelf tour let me know what you think in the comments even though there is much to think there yes this is an amazing bookshelf i know thank you um but comment down below what other videos you'd like to see from me and i'll see you guys next time oh and follow my socials they're linked down below my goodreads instagram book talk everything is down there bye